Sure bet or a long shot? The Des Moines Airport Authority surprised a lot of people when they announced Tuesday that they were looking at building a $250 million casino there. As KCCI senior reporter Todd Magel shows us, those plans face a lot of hurdles. Well, Stacy, we talked to all the players today. The Clive Airport expert behind the idea says it's the perfect solution to help pay for a new $500 million airport terminal. But critics wonder if the casino idea can ever really take off. It is challenging. I absolutely agree with it. And that's the reason I think uh, I'm doing it. Reggie Sinna has a dream and this is it. A proposed $250 million hotel and casino planned for the Des Moines airport. The Clive consultant travels the world planning major airports. Now he wants to help the Des Moines airport pay for its new $500 million terminal by using proceeds from a new casino. We should be able to help the Des Moines airport. But he admits the reality of getting approval for a new Des Moines casino is daunting. I'm willing to keep an open mind. Polk County Supervisor Matt McCoy points out that Des Moines has a deal with Prairie Meadows. The Altoona Casino and Racetrack now pays the city $6 million a year. In return, Des Moines leaders promise never to support a competing casino in the city. McCoy wonders if Prairie Meadows would want to share its gambling dollars. What we don't want to do is, is uh, kill the goose that laid the golden egg. And at the same time, um, I think we do need to figure out how we're going to build this airport. Not something that was on the commission's radar. Iowa Racing and Gaming Commission Director Brian Arilko says an airport casino would have to be approved by a countywide referendum before the commission would consider a new casino application. And that's not easy. And referendums have been un unsuccessful and so that would uh, definitely be one um, um, major uh, uh, hurdle that uh, I, I think would need to take place. And gambling opponent Tom Coates says a second Metro Casino would promote gambling addiction and would never be accepted by Prairie Meadows. Without their blessing, uh, you're not going to get it done. That would be my prediction. But Reggie Sinna says it's time to think big. This is for Iowa. This is the economic vitality of uh, central Iowa, which is at stake. So I'm asking all stakeholders, including Prairie Meadows, to please come help join together. Now, Reggie Sinna is partnering with Wild Rose Casinos on this proposed airport casino project. Prairie Meadows, by the way, did not want to comment today. The airport board will take a closer look at the airport casino plan and possibly vote on the idea at its meeting next month. Steve.